Okay, so first we're going to duplicate our first layer by Command D, that's a little shortcut. Then we're going to drag the first back to that frame where we want our first freeze frame. And right click, time, freeze frame, that makes our freeze frame. And then we're going to double click on that layer go up to the pen tool and that'll bring you to your layer so I accidentally clicked on the brush wrong tool so we're just gonna basically outline whoever we want to be in the freeze frame and you don't really have to be exact with this you can kind of just guesstimate on a lot of the parts but you want it as close as possible but it doesn't really take away if you have a little bit of leeway because it goes so fast sometimes it the viewer won't even notice. And then after we get all that wrapped up, then we can go to the composition tab up at the top and we can just scrub through that and check out how the person comes out of the freeze frame, which is pretty cool. And then we're just going to do that same process over and over again. A duplicate, Command D. Scroll that uh, layer back. See, that's where we want our new freeze frame. And right click, time freeze frame. And after we get that, double click on the layer. The pen tools are selected. We just do that same outlining technique. Yeah, it's a tedious process, but it's worth it, definitely. Make sure I get all that in. Okay, then we'll take a look. Composition tab. Just do a little scrubbing through. And that's looking pretty cool. Looks like, oh, that's an awesome place to stop. So we're just going to command duplicate again, scroll that back, and you want to stay organized with the layers. I like to keep the first one, first freeze frame on top, second freeze frame on the bottom, and so on. But I don't, you don't have to, it's just I like to keep organized because After Effects is a program that can get really crazy at times. I think this is the last freeze frame I'm going to do for this tutorial because it's just the same thing over and over. So I'm just going to scroll through it once you see how that is. Um, at the end of this video I'll give you a little preview of what I've done uh, with this sequence or maybe another sequence of skateboarding. But there, there that is and it's already pretty cool and just imagine having like five more of those freeze frames in it. And it'll look really awesome. So your final product would look something like that. And I uh, there you have it. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll, I'll answer them probably. Thanks.